the doctor named the amount of alcohol that causes the formation of blood clots. Good afternoon dear viewer. The most useful and interesting information just for you. I wish you all goodness, happiness, love and a peaceful sky. So let's go. Drinking alcohol and especially abusing it contributes to dehydration of the body and increases the risk of blood clots, doctors warn. The process of thrombus formation is associated with the fact that more fluid is washed out of the body, Professor Mark Whiteley, a consultant venous surgeon and phlebologist, who specializes in varicose veins, said in an interview. The doctor reminded, blood clots form in response to trauma, they stop bleeding from the body. But it also happens that blood clots form for no good reason in one or more deep veins of the body, and they can be life-threatening. This process is known as deep vein thrombosis. According to Professor Whiteley, alcohol is one of the main causes of thrombosis. Alcohol not only causes dehydration, but acts as a diuretic. This means that although the fluid is absorbed by the body, it is still excreted more in the form of urine. Thus, the prerequisites for the formation of clots are created. The doctor named the amount of alcohol that causes the formation of blood clots, it is three portions of alcohol per day. One standard serving contains 13 to 15 grams of ethanol, which corresponds to approximately 350 milliliters of beer or 150 milliliters of wine. The same goes for caffeine. Drinks containing it, in large quantities, and alcohol can increase the risk of pulmonary embolism, in which a blood clot gets stuck in an artery in the lung, blocking blood flow. Other Risk Factors such circumstances and disorders significantly increase the likelihood of blood clots. Alcohol Abuse in Blood Clots The American Society of Hematology ASH, defines a blood clot, also called blood coagulation or thrombosis, as the gathering of proteins in the blood along with platelets to form a solid or semi-solid mass in a blood vessel. Clots form naturally all the time to heal internal and external injuries. A scab that forms after you get a cut, for example, is a type of blood clot. However, blood clots can become dangerous when they form in a blood vessel without any obvious injury and do not naturally dissolve. Depending on whether a clot forms in an artery or vein, it may cause slightly different problems. Deep vein thrombosis is a type of clot that forms in a major vein in a leg, arm, pelvis, or other part of the body. These clots are dangerous because they can cause a buildup of blood, leading to swelling and preventing oxygen from circulating effectively around the heart. A piece of the clot may also break off and enter the heart or lungs where it becomes wedged and may cause a heart attack or pulmonary embolism. For people with a family history of blood clots or heart disease, drinking a moderate amount of wine or beer, especially red wine, may confer some benefits because one serving of alcohol can slightly thin the blood. Drinking more than two servings of alcohol per day, however, increases the risk of blood clots because the number of platelets in the blood increases. Before self-prescribing alcohol to prevent heart problems or blood clots, it is important to understand what a serving of alcohol is. The CDC defines one serving as 12 ounces of beer, which is about one bottle, 5 ounces of wine, or a small glass, 1.5 ounces of hard alcohol, or a single shot glass. One of these servings of alcohol per day, with at least two days per week without alcohol consumption, may benefit heart health. However, there is no such thing as completely safe drinking, so if you have any concerns about heart health, it is better to avoid drinking. This is especially true for those who have a family history of heart disease or blood disorders, or who are on any kind of prescription medication, including blood thinners. The Red Wine Myth A chemical found in red wine, called resveratrol, is associated with lower cholesterol levels, especially bad cholesterol, or high-density lipoprotein HDL, cholesterol. While the mechanism behind this link is not well understood, publications immediately issued articles about the finding. Unfortunately, the popular press around wine's potential benefits for heart health may have contributed to an increase in excessive drinking. While the scientific research found that one serving of red wine, which is only 5 ounces, can benefit heart health, the study did not consider other harmful effects of wine, like more calories, 
risk of stomach damage, risk of liver damage, and increased sugars. Since many people do not know how much an appropriate serving is, the result for too many was dangerous consumption of alcohol, which did not incur any benefit to heart health and may have increased the risk of blood clots and other issues for many Americans. Preventing Blood Clots by Overcoming Alcohol Abuse The American Heart Association AHA, does not recommend drinking alcohol because of its risk of heart damage, including increased risk of blood clots. While moderate drinking is less dangerous than excessive drinking, it is important to avoid drinking alcohol at all if you have concerns about your cardiovascular health or concerns about blood clots. You should also speak to your doctor about weight management, healthy eating, and exercise to change cholesterol, blood pressure, and heart health more effectively than you can with red wine or any other serving of alcohol. If you drink too much or are concerned about how much you drink, you should speak to a physician about lowering your alcohol intake or getting treatment through a rehabilitation program. Working with an addiction specialist to safely detox from alcohol and then get behavioral treatment through rehab is the best process for ending odd and other forms of problem drinking. Fortunately, there are many evidence-based programs available, which specialize in treating alcohol use disorder. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave your comments. I wish you all love, happiness, kindness and a peaceful sky.